This bill has huge benefits, as I say, to animals, plants, the environment and to people um, in terms of developing resistance to diseases such as avian influenza. And a lot of work is being done on that in terms of trying to get birds to become resistant to this horrific disease that we are seeing. We are gripped in, the, in this country and across the world in this huge outbreak. So this outbreak is very much firmly in our minds, and I think this sort of technology will help us in the battle there. In terms of developing resistance as well to other diseases like porcine re reproductive and respiratory syndrome, PRRS, in pigs, it will reduce the need for medicines, it will help us com combat antimicrobial resistance, and indirectly, therefore, and very directly, will help public health. It will also help us as a country and as a world with our fight to, to, to preserve and strengthen food security by being able to develop more climate resilient and disease resistant crops, reducing the need for pesticides and reducing the need for fertilizers as well. This will as well benefit the environment. So, Mr Deputy Speaker, in summary, I strongly support this bill. I welcome the government amendments. I, think, I thank the other place for refining it and actually improving the bill. And, and, and I wish it well in its next travel.